Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video today. It's going to be looking at uh, what we have left for the remainder of the year for Fake Grand Order in North America. I completely butchered that sentence, but this is about the fifth time I've tried to record this, and that's the best we're going to get. So I realized today that it's near the end of May, and starting from June, July, August, September, October, November, December, that's basically the hard times for Fake Grand Order in North America. This is when we're going to start getting some really crazy banners filled with units that are extremely good and are kind of, they kind of stay that way for the remainder two years of where they are right now in JP so I kind of wanted to take a look at them talk about them a little bit think about my savings it's been a pretty I would say rough year in general so it's always helpful you know especially in a times where money's just so tight it always the best thing about Northern playing North American Fake Grand Order is that you could look ahead and know specifically what's going to be coming. So that's what today's video is going to be. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me about what you're looking forward to in the coming months. How much are you saving? Are you get, How crazy is your current thing going? And um, yeah, subscribe to me if you want more. So let's get into it. So this is near the end of May. We're, we're basically at the end of May here. The Hunting Quest, I think they just announced that we are getting the Interlude campaign. Um... So yeah, the interlude campaign, I don't remember if there's any banner that comes with it. I, recently they've started doing that, but here's the basic one. Here's the first one that we got here, which is the start of the India Lost Belt. And this one brings in Ganesha, or that's not how you pronounce her name. No, this one doesn't have Ganesha. This one is for Arjuna and uh, Rama, of all people. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't remember. Okay, this one's a pretty easy banner that you can just kind of... Skip. No offense to my boy Arjuna and his monkey costume that he gets later, but here we go. Here's the first one that for specifically the India Lost Belt. This one has Laksh Lakshimba, William Tell, and Great Statue God, who I guess if you don't want to be spoiled, I won't say who it is. Um, Great Statue God is one of the the only, as, as of this moment, the only uh, in general banner moon cell unit in the entire game. Um, but you can get them on the free SSR ticket. I think that's the main thing that I've always felt, you know, specifically not some... Because I, I actually do really like Great Statue God and the character that's inside it. Um, but they're kind of... Because of the free SSR ticket that we're getting next year, not this year... Um, it makes me not want to actually pull on them because, you know, there's always a chance to randomly get them because Raid Up is a lie. Um, and if I don't get them, then hey, use the free SSR ticket. Of course, that all also all depends on if I don't pull uh, Tamamo for various reasons. Uh, Lakshimba, at the same, in the same manner, kind of is always in the banner. And eventually, if they ever bring back the Pick Your Own 4 ticket, she's on it. William Tell, always on it. So... I actually see them all the time on JP, so you don't have to worry about it. It's not one of those threes you can miss, so don't worry about it. This is actually the first hard banner of the year. This is the this is the end-all be-all. We got Arjuna Ulcer. We've got, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Aish, As Visavathun, the Fire Wheel Man, the Angry Bowser, and Asapios. Now, funny enough, I think Asapios is better than the four on here. So I think he's perfectly fine for what he is. The thing that makes him good is that if you're someone who's free to play and you are trying to do Scotty looping and you don't have your own Scotty or you just don't have the best setups in the world, he is actually a fantastic NP gain unit and NP gain is what will eventually also transition us into the next big meta which is Arts, which will be coming um, when Castoria comes I think next year. So. Good to kind of have he's a good guy you're always going to be able to get him so i'm not saying hey pull for him but if you're someone who's like is this guy good he's good so don't don't be weary about training him up and kind of using him because I, I think he's extremely solid arjuna alter man this dude when you look up the definition of built different this man is just straight up built different this skill set Anti-evil, increase on attack by th for three turns, increase on damage against enemies with debuff for three turns. We're going to look at level 10 for all these. 30% attack, 50% debuff damage. Um, increase on crit star absorption rate for buster cards and charge on NP gain. That's a 6,000%. So busters have bad crit weight, so that will basically guarantee it that his buster cards will get the crit, uh, will get the crits if needed. 
and MP gain up by 30%. That's really damn solid. Creates self guts for one turn, recovers on HP for three turns. Guts always good. I think every berserker should have guts. If you don't, if you're a berserker without guts, then I assume that you're just dying all the time, or you're some kind of weird hybrid support berserker of some kind. And this noble phantasm deal damage to all enemies and then reduce their buster resistance for three turns. It. it <laughs> he's just insanely good. He's kind of you know this is the reason why they keep giving Ryko. Uh, Berserker Raiko buffs is because she was the queen AoE buster, for lack of a better term, gorilla. Um, not anymore. Not with Arjuna Alter in the game. He completely changes everything. I'm definitely going to be summoning for him. Probably not going to go crazy hard just because I'm not someone who goes crazy for buster units. But he is all, he's story locked. He's extremely good. Um, if you have him, you're fucking built solid for a vast for a vast majority of time. So, first, I think big unit that's coming up pretty soon, and that's going to be the start of it. Seventeen million download campaign. We might get this early, uh, depending on some things. Actually, um, the thing I'll say about this, because I'm pretty sure the summoning campaign. Um, Bride Nero. First of all, this Nero is still extremely rare and also constantly gets spirit on dresses to the chagrin of everyone in the world. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I like her. She's built extremely good. I mean, look at these dresses. These are some fantastic ass dresses. You get three dresses and then you don't forget the sprites as well. April Fools. Some good stuff. So obviously a very solid AoE uh, saber to have, especially if you like Nero. Nero Bride, um, also extremely good because they keep buffing her. Like, Stars in Heaven, this ability right here where she charges allies MP generation and charges their MP gauge is fucking crazy. For three turns, 45% MP rate up, and then they also get 30% MP. That's amazing. She's a crazy support. Increase the ally attack for three turns. The great thing about her is that not only is she, like, built for supporting, um... Covers one ally's HP, increases their defense for three turns, increases their damage against enemies with the sky attribute for three turns, 30%. Um, the best thing about her is that if push comes to shove, you can use her as a support unit, but if you need an a, a single target, she's perfectly good with that. And she's a arts, uh, which in the future will of course be amazing to run with because arts is just an amazing... I, I, you know, I'll say right now, arts is really fun to run right now. The only problem is, is that there's not a lot of uh, Tomomo friends running around. There just isn't enough to justify it being your main um, reliance on stuff. Um, but in the future, when Castoria comes out, you'll be able to use your Tamamo if you don't want to run Castoria or you weren't able to get her. Um, and a bunch of other stuff. Like, Arts meta becomes real fun. It's actually kind of nuts how much... Arts basically will eventually have the best of Buster and the best of Quick <laughs> in terms of having the damage and then also having the... Um, the MP generation, which is basically constant looping, which is nice. So I think a lot of people will end up overlooking this and probably don't see it as like, oh, this amazing banner. But I think Nero Bright is really good. Really good. Um, so definitely something to look forward to. Case Malloy, I don't think we're going to be getting that. Guda Guda 5. Oops. I keep accidentally going to the other thing. Now, I will say about Guda Guda 5... Which, it pains me to say this. And I know that when I say this, I'm still summoning on her. But she's just not very good. This Demon King Nobu. Cool. Cool as fuck. No, the reason I want her is because look at her. She's awesome. She comes with like three different stages. What what flavor of Nobu? Do you want uh, angry first form? Do you want male Nobu? Because we got that. Do you want mama Nobu? We got all that. They have everything in her. The only thing I have a problem with is that her skills just aren't the greatest. Like, they made her, unfortunately, Buster, which is the same as everything. Ver removes all divine enemies' defensive buffs, so it only works on divine enemies. Like, she needs buffs. I think that's fair to say. Like, she's currently built to take down very specific types of enemies, but I don't know. Like, I she could be better. I think that's fair to say, right? I think it's fair to say that even if you do like her, and I do like her a whole bunch, um, it always helps to kind of say, like, yo, I think she could be better. Especially because, you know, 
uh, I think she ends up giving... No, she doesn't. She also needs a burning battle. This is also kind of a pain in the ass. I don't like units that... Um... Oh, wait, no, no, it's fine. She she summons the burning battlefield, so it's fine. Um... Either way. I'll be summoning for her, but she could obviously be, be better. This dude right here, remember when I said that weird support berserker? He's basically a support berserker. You want him to die. <laughs> um, so it's fine that he doesn't have guts, I think. Even though I think he does have guts. He does not have guts. See, you want him defeated for the 20 crit star. He is also limited and a 3 star, so just like Izzo, he would probably be the biggest pain in the ass to actually get um, fully. Um... But yeah, I think for a lot of, a lot of people like Guda Guda, me included. Um, I wasn't so much a fan of the story of 4 because it was too serious, so I kind of hope this one goes back to being a little bit more. You can't expect it to be back to the silly when the main um, character is an Avenger, but whatever. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know if we'll get the Epic of Remnant one. I can't remember if Musashi's on this. No, she isn't. There's no banner. Um, just no banner, just events. Okay. Uh, the Return of the Summer Festival. This can be very tough for a lot of people. Um, for various reasons. Main info. No, where are the... So yeah, not only is... No, it's on here somewhere. Where the freak are the... Maybe if I just go down. That's what I should do, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a dum dum. Should have gone down. Um, summer gets really hard around this parts, including the past banners. The reason it's so hard is because um, males banners start coming out, and usually the male five is either someone who is super good or super well loved. And in this case, you got Dantes, you got Gilgamesh, you got Robin Hood. Everyone has Robin Hood. I'm gonna assume a lot of people have Gil Gilgamesh Caster, and if they don't, then hopefully they get him eventually. Dantes is limited. He also has the summer summer goth look, which I love. Um, in terms of the girls for part one, you got uh, Jean, Archer, Ibaraki, and you got uh, Ushi Wakamaru, aka Ushi. I should just call her Ushi. Uh, Jean, of course, um, an AOE arts archer. Fantastic. She's fantastic now. She just only gets better. She's one of those ones where it's like, oh yeah, she's going to get better with time. <laughs> uh, Ushi, I wish, had a little bit more NP gain on her. I wish... Um, her ability, which she does have the ability to get MP gain, but in terms of looping, because of the assassin part of her, it really is ends up being kind of a pain in the ass. Like, she has all these ways to get, like, um, stuff back. That's what I need. I, for this skill, if it gave her, um, quick performance and NP gain, I think she'd be perfectly solid, but the way it is now, she can sometimes just, like, not get the loop right, which is killer in a Scotty loop. Um... And of course, and after this, we got Summer BB, Mysterious Heroine XX, and Maeve, Maeve Summer. Saber. Um, I love BB Summer. She looks cool. She looks awesome. Her kit is fun. <laughs> and it's BB, and she turns big and smashes dudes. Who doesn't like that? Uh, again, another Moon Cell, 5 star Moon Cell IOE. Um, Mysterious Heroine XX, perfectly good. Arts is also. Maeve Summer, I don't hear a whole lot about. But, I don't know, she looks good. That's all that matters at some point. <laughs> um, though I remember some people saying she's very good. Now here's where... Now here's the ultimate ramp up. Because once that summer... Beforehand, it was already kind of, you know... This is tough. This is tough. I would say this is tough, personally. For me, I would say Guda Guda 5. That's tough. Um... But when we actually get to Anniversary, and then Anniversary ducktails into the next uh, summer um, units, that's the true sign of, oh god, all hands on deck, things are bad. And for the Anniversary, we've got uh, Da Vinci Lily, uh, who is amazing. I think I've said it before, I don't know how many times I have to say it. If I had to pick five units that are coming up that I'm absolutely always going to be summoning on if I can't make the others... Um, it would be Arjuna Alter, it would be um, Leonardo da Vinci Rider, it would be um, Space Ishtar, and then... Well, I'll just mention them when I go up here, but let's... Do, this is number two, Leonardo da Vinci. I would absolutely love her. I want her so much. Um, I have her on JP, and on my account, which is not 
amazing, not fully built out. Skills are barely able to reach level five. She's able to loop with that uh, <laughs> with that represent in your mind to fully kind of drag home how crazy arts becomes. I just mentioned all that and I don't even have full skills. I can't imagine how these units are at full skills because they'd be amazing busted broken. And even before then, I think this unit is extremely busted broken and people did there were people who realized it and there were other people who were like, yeah, but she's not quick or buster, so who cares? And then once arts became big with Castario, it was like, oh crap. I really wish that I had Ryder because she's just crazy good. Um, why is she so good? She increases the party's MPH for three turns. Uh, MP damage. She charges the party by 10%. Not only that, her um, AoE hit, which also hits pretty damn hard, it also charges the entire party's MP gauge by 20%. Uh, increases her own personal arts performance. Like She ends up dealing a lot of damage and supporting at the same time. She has the ability to charge her own MP gauge for 3 turns for 20%. Like Think about that. Like You could have, for example, a Kaleidoscope at a 100%. Um, activate... No, you wouldn't activate this. You would activate this. Use your AOE. You would get 20% after using the AOE. You would get 20% at the end. You would get 20% at the end of the turn. Start start next turn, you would have this get back to 50%. And assuming it would also depend on how much um, damage you did, you also had your prerequisite of how much um, MP gain you gained from that. So you'd be easily above 50% in one turn. It's kind of... And also she has territory creations. She's just amazing. Fantastic anniversary unit. There's not enough that I could say that could justify it. Here's another tough one. This is where the tough, this is. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the fact that it says summon one, Merlin summoning, summon two. So we got Musashi, uh, Berserker, let me look at Oksipa Hime, Hime, Archer, and Carmilla Ryder. She is an AoE Berserker um, for arts, and she also gets NP gain if I look at something right here. No, no. But she basically fills the role, the role of Lancelot. You know how Lancelot on um, JP for quick? She's basically Lancelot, but a five star. She ends up being extremely good for looping. Just an extremely good unit in general. She's basically, I think, of the summer units, she's the one I care most about getting. She's also would be my number three in the ones that are must summon. Merlin, there's nothing I need to say about Merlin. He's the single-handedly the reason Buster is still relevant. If Merlin didn't exist, then the game wouldn't be screwed up the way it is. <laughs> We wouldn't have break bars if it wasn't for Merlin. We wouldn't have so many things if it wasn't for Merlin. Um, we wouldn't have a focus on specifically the specific card art that it is if it wasn't for Merlin. And he gets a summer outfit in this um, in this event. Um, so obviously, a lot of people are going to summon for this group too. Probably over the, um, probably over some of the women. As crazy as that sounds to me. Um, we got Artoria Pendragon, Ruler, uh, aka Lancer, aka Saber, Big Boob, uh, Mysterious Alter Ego A, and Okita Assassin. Okita ends up being the worst, I think, of the new summer units, but she still looks very cute in her outfit. Um, Lamba, which I think is what she gets called in this event, she's, again, arts. So, planning for the future, amazing in the future. Um... The thing I like about this Artoria, by the way, it's similar to BB, is she kind of messes with the deck itself, which I always think those kind of units are fun. Um, she also is a bunny girl in summer. Like, she has some fantastic... Look at that. Probably not in terms of meta... Def I don't think she's meta-defining in any way, but she is fine. That's all I got to say about that. Las Vegas. Tough. That's where basically everyone's... Were, not Warmite. This is Intergalia. This is where everyone's quartz die. And then it only gets worse from there. Because uh, guess what? Gilgamesh comes back in the Battle of New York. Gilgamesh, as much as I don't like the dude Gilgamesh, you cannot deny that Gilgamesh is one of the best buster archers out there. One of the best archers in general. This dude has, since the beginning of the game, basically not gone bad. Um, and on his banner is Jaguar Man, um, who is a fantastic single target 
uh, Lancer, and if Ku did not exist, I would say she would be one of the top. But Ku exists, and Ku is obviously better than her, but that doesn't change the fact that she's Taiga. And I mean, just look at this. Look at this Taiga. Who wouldn't want that? Bad man. Gorgon, fantastic woman. And then, of course, I think... No, does Ishtar end up getting her own banner? I think no. I want to say... I, I thought she would, but I don't think she does. It would be cruel if they did. I don't think we're going to be getting this because... We don't... We're not celebrating Kumafa, so... I don't know if we'll be getting that. Halloween 2018, I really like... Um, I really like Halloween. This is basically the last Halloween, as far as we know, unless they decide to add a new Halloween event. So it does hold a special place in my heart. This royal icing is the best art in general, but it's not on banner. Yeah, this banner is an easy skip. <laughs> it's pretty easy, as much as I love my girl Satonia. Love my girl um, Ilya from Fate Stay Night. But unfortunately, you can kind of skip her pretty easily. Shudan ends up being a perfectly fine unit. She's still pretty solid as far as I remember. Um, but there's just bigger fish to fry in this game, man. You can't focus on one fish too long. Saber Wars pre-release. The Return of Mysterious and Heroin X, which is nice. Saber Wars 2. This is the fourth unit on the list? Yes. Did I would summon four? No, not, not X Alter, sorry. Here she is. Space Ishtar. Not only does she have built-in arts, you can change her to be Buster or Quick, depending on what you want. Um, look at this. Just look at this, the list of passive skills she has. It's crazy. Um, just an in-general fantastic unit. Obviously, this is the chance. Even with this chance, it doesn't matter. She just is a force to be reckoned with, and she's an Avenger. She basically, I think, replaces... Um, not for this, because unfortunately her um, NP change only lasts for no less for three turns, actually. Um, I was going to say, I think for Quick, you'd still want to go down to us, but I think she would be pretty good still with Quick, actually. Unless there's something weird about her Quick, like the difference in changes or something. Three hits, maybe not enough. I know for a fact with Arts, it's 100% enough, but maybe not enough for there. Um... But yeah, great unit. Fantastic unit. Easily. If you want, if there was one unit on the list, I would say just get this one and then get Castoria and you're good for the entirety of the game. It would be Space Ishtar. She's that stupid good. Um, as you can see here, there's no return of Quetz and Bradamante because this is the year Japan decided to go bad. This was the start of the fall of Fate Grand Order. That's why it's not number one anymore. It's Umumasumi all day long. All day long. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, but not really. This is where it starts. It all started two years ago. 18 million download of Scotty. <laughs> what? I don't need to say anything. She's the quick meta queen. Christmas 2019 is actually, I believe, Bunny Ostelfo. That was correct. Bunny Ostelfo. Perfectly fine unit. Perfectly good for what he's doing. Single target, steals the NP. You don't hear a lot about him in general. As much as, like, people love Astolfo, he really doesn't- this version of him really does not get much mentioned, but I think it's cool. A lot of people would love Astolfo, and they would love the summon for him. So, more power to him, man. And finally, this is the end of the year. And this ends with a bang. This is the last unit on the list of I would summon for, and I plan to summon for. Yep. Yeah. Here he is. Super Orion. He is a unit who does not have a single target uh, NP. It just buffs him, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> He's that good. <laughs> Look at that. He has an arts for the main for his noble phantasm with three buster cards. What more do you need to know about this man? He is a bulky boy. He punch hard. He hit you hard. That's all you need to know. Still really damn good. Still amazing. Whenever I use him in JP, I'm like, this is just a dumb unit. I don't understand how you would ever lose with him. He's just that good. He gives a demerit to himself and doesn't even matter. That's how good he is. And that's kind of the end of the six months from now. So 
yeah, it's going to be tough. Happy savings out there. Again, for me personally, the banners I'm going to be summoning on are a little bit far Juno Altar. Not much. A little bit for um, for Mama Nobu over here in Guda Guda 5. I don't know why I forgot the name of Guda Guda, even though it was literally staring me in the face. Just a little bit, though. Like, if I was going to be giving a number, probably two, two multis for Juno Altar... As good as he is, um, I'm not really built for Buster equipment. So it's really more of a I want him because he's extremely good. Guda Guda 5, it's probably probably 2. If I get very unlucky with uh, CE, it would probably be 1 more, but we'll see. This, I have no idea. Like, I, I, I can't... I, I'll have at least... I've got at least 100 tickets in waiting... Um, for when the fourth year anniversary comes and the change to summoning happens where it goes from 10 summons to 11 summons. <sighs> so for that, I'll be ready. I just don't know how much I'm going to spend on it. I definitely want her, but at the same time, it's building towards a future that I can't predict if I'm going to be getting Castoria. And of course, I've also got this to worry about. <laughs> um, so if I were to get, guess a number... I would say probably around five multis here. And then on here, basically everything. Everything that I have saved up, I think that's fair to say. Um, not on Merlin. I don't summon on Merlin because I don't want to build up Buster. So I'm not doing that. Probably, if I was going to take a guess, 7-7. Seven, seven. Seven, seven or so. So let me keep track. So that's 2, 2, 4... I said um, 5 for this, 9, plus 14, that's too much, um, it's way too much, 23, 23 multi is right there, nothing here, nothing here man, as good as Gilgamesh is, I prefer new units, 5 for Saber Wars 2, probably a little bit more if I'm being honest, maybe 7? So that would let's bring that that brings up the multis to thirty, and then from there nothing here. I probably will end up summoning on this for like with like three multis, so thirty three, and then whatever I got to spare, maybe another seven. So forty multis is what I'm thinking in the future, but who actually knows how that will turn out? Um, the blessings of men is being prepared for the worst, so. That's not how much I expect it to take. That's how much I expect to use um, personally. And who knows how the money situation will be, how how the ticket situation is going to be. We're definitely be getting a lot of quartz around this time. The problem is, is that they give a lot of quartz around this time, and then I lose it all in this span of period. So who cares about knowing exactly how much I get? Um, so maybe around 40 multis in general. But who knows? Could be more, could be less, if I get lucky. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. It was pretty long. It's been a while since I've done one of the <laughs> of course, I did one of these videos. I still play Fake Grand Order basically close to every day. It's just like there's nothing for me to do. There's actually stuff I have planned for the video, but the problem is, is that because of my limited time of being awake, I just don't have time to work on them. But a day will come where I'll have time to work on stuff like that. So, I hope you like this one. Hope to see more in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out. Bye-bye.